Hi everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you an easier way to measure your camera rig and the tracker offset that goes with it. Uh, this setup requires you to have an extra Vive tracker to do the measuring, but it gives you a pretty accurate measurement very quickly. Much easier than using rulers or calipers to get measurements off your actual camera rig. To use it is pretty simple. Basically you just need to have a camera rig set up with an auto rig in it. Like I see here you've got Vive Puck 2, the auto rig, the a7R IV, that's the model of my camera, which you don't really need, and then the uh, Unreal VP Camera 2, which is the Unreal camera attached to the rig. And then you need a second puck. I'm going to use Vibe Puck 3, uh, which is also already set up. Both of those pucks are just dragged out as trackers, named, and you're ready to go. Now, to make a measurement, the first thing you do is put a measuring gadget into the level. You have to make sure that uh, this little button down here is set to show the VP core level where the cameras and everything else are. Then just drag the measuring gadget anywhere into the level and drop it. Then you find it over here in the world outliner. You can see down here there are several things that you can set. First is the uh, Vive Puck that you're going to use to make the measurements. And for me that's Vive Puck 3. And then you need the Vive Puck actor that is on your camera rig. And in this case that's Vive Puck 2. And then you need the actor that represents the auto rig in that setup. And like I showed you earlier, that's just called auto rig in my setup. And now you're pretty much ready to make a measurement. You start by pressing play. And then I hit I to go into inspection mode. And I zoomed in on the camera so you can see what it looks like. Right here, auto rig has all of its values zeroed out. And so the camera is basically looking like it's sitting right on top of the tracker. Now I'll go in and I'll make the camera disappear so you can see what's happening better. Now you can see just the tracker without the camera model in the way. And you can see the auto rig, which are those three different colored sticks coming out the bottom of the tracker. And you can see here uh, I have measured tilt, vertical, horizontal, and instruments pupil. Uh, if I mess with these, you'll see exactly how it works. So if I mess, change the vertical, I can make it go down. And you see that blue cube is where the vertical position is. And then I can change the horizontal, and it slides out on the green rod to show the horizontal. And then I can change the entrance pupil measurement, and you see that cube slides forward. Before, the only way to get all these measurements correct was to hand measure your camera rig, which was kind of a pain in the neck. And it was also a little bit difficult because of the odd shapes of most camera rigs. They're kind of hard to measure with a ruler. The measuring gadget gets around that by using the Vive Tracker, the extra one that we set up earlier. To take a measurement, first put the lens cap on your camera. Don't forget this step. You don't want to mess up your lens. Then you take your Vive Tracker and press it up against the lens cap and get it as centered as you possibly can, like in these two pictures I'm showing now. Once you have that ready, now hold everything still and press the V key. After a second, You'll see that message appear, and you'll notice all the values in auto rig have been set. Now I've turned the 3D model of the camera back on so you can see how the camera sits. And if you go back and look at the picture of my actual rig, you'll see that the measurements and the setup of everything look pretty much the same. And that's really all there is to it to get a quick measurement. Before you hit stop, make sure you write down the numbers in auto rig because Unreal will reset those to what they, whatever they were when you started playing. Now a bit more explanation about these numbers inside of Auto Rig. You notice there's two groups here, one called Measured and one called Adjust. The, one call, the ones called Measured are meant to be the actual measured values you've taken off your rig, either with the measuring gadget or using a ruler or calipers. These are meant to be as close as you can get to correct, at least measuring by eye. But odds are that when you go down to actually align your set with the camera, you'll find that you're slightly out of line and need to make small adjustments to something. This can happen because the rig was bumped since you used it last, or maybe something in the rig is not perfectly straight or has twisted a little bit over time. In any case, these are set up to make very small changes in the values that you measured to get everything to line up correctly. Also remember that the measuring gadget is not actually measuring the entrance people it's measuring the front of your lens. The entrance people will normally be a bit behind the front of the lens, 
how much depends entirely on the lens. You will need to figure out the location of the entrance people on your own and use the adjust entrance people to bring this measurement into the right line. You can see how to set up your entrance people and how to measure it in some of my earlier tutorials and I'll probably be revisiting that again in a future tutorial as well as I find a better way to, to measure it. In any case, when you start aligning your set in your camera, you can just come in here and make small adjustments to pan, tilt, horizontal, vertical, and entrance people in order to get everything into proper alignment. Save those numbers away and you're good. Once you've measured all of your rigs and lenses, you can just delete the measuring gadget from the level and go ahead and shoot some video. Just as a reminder, the measuring gadget is kind of experimental still. It seems to work quite good for me, but I'm not sure how it will work for you. If you have problems using it, please let me know and give me some information on what the problems were. To get the best measurements, try to position your hand on the tracker so you're not blocking too many of the sensor's view of your base stations. It also is important to have it properly centered on the lens cap when you take the measurement. There are a couple of ways you can help out on this if you don't feel confident to do it by hand. You could use some double stick tape and attach the tracker to the lens cap temporarily. Or if your camera is on a tripod that allows it to point nearly straight up, just point the camera up and set the tracker on top of the lens cap and then let go of it. It should stay in place. In my tests, the measurement from the measuring gadget seems to always land within about one to two millimeters of the measurement I did manually using calipers. I think this is pretty good and it's very likely that the Vive tracker measurement is actually the more accurate one. I hope you find the measuring gadget a useful way to set up your camera rig with less fiddling about with rulers and calipers. That's all for now.